Hey guys, welcome back to My Divine Timing Tarot. This is going to be a prediction read starting from today for the next three months for the sign of Aquarius. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everybody for your support and love on here. It's much appreciated. And feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll start off with the Kipper deck and get random uh, predictions for the next three months. And then I'll move, move on to the Tarot deck to get more specific, in-depth um, uh, messages for you guys and predictions um, and I'll do a uh, career and then I'll do a separate spread for those of you that are involved with someone or committed to someone and lastly I'll finish off with the singles portion so this is for Aquarius's spirit for my Aquarius's predictions for the next three months please for Aquarius's Predictions for the next three months, please, for my Aquariuses. Seems like you guys are going to receive some sort of a phone call or something or a message because I'm hearing my son's phone for the first time. He forgot it uh, before he went to school today and I never hear that phone ring. So you might receive some sort of message. Somebody might be calling you guys. So let's see. Uh, Aquarius is spirit. Predictions for Aquarius in the next three months, please. <clears throat> I feel like you guys, um, in the next three months, if you guys were planning on doing any sort of uh, repairs or renovations uh, in your home, I feel like that's going to be put on hold for the next three months. Some of you guys are just not spending... Uh, enough time as you want to at home you could not be spending as much time as your family with your family as well in the next three months and a lot of you guys are very uh, confused as to where you want things to go in your life in general whether it's love or career or you're just your life in general bottom line you're very confused as to um, what steps you need to get there. You don't know how to get there. Predictions for Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you. So this is very specific. Some of you could be um, very confused as to something to do with your child it's like you're not seeing almost like I don't want to say the potential of their future but you're it's like you're not you're not knowing how to handle um your child you're not knowing what how the the best way is what I want to say to handle some situation with your child Maybe some of you, your child is not spending, like they're going out a lot and they're not spending enough time at home. And it's like, you don't know, you don't know what the future holds for them here. You don't know the best way to handle the situation. Some of you could be expecting a child as well within the next three months. And there could be something, another message that I'm getting, there could be something that you've always wanted to do since you were a child. And it's like you don't know how to execute that within the next three months. You don't know how to get there. Predictions for Aquarius spirit in the next three months. predictions some of you um, some of some of you could be wanting to uh, move in another to to another neighborhood like out of the area that you've been in since you were a child um, and you just don't know, you don't know if that's the best choice for you. 
You're not sure. You're not sure where things will go if you take that step. That's a very specific message as well. Some of you could be like, uh, commuting, like for work. Um, and it's not like it's far, like it's not in your area. Like you commute very far to work. Like you're never in your neighborhood. And you don't know if that's the best thing for you right now. What other messages? Predictions for Aquarius spirit in the next three months. Those of you that are uh, seeing someone, talking to someone, committed to someone, I feel like you don't know... Um, you don't see where the future is headed with this person. You don't know... The best way to handle this situation with this person here. Some of you could be feeling like you don't know if it's the right move to um, move in with this person as well. Let me get one more message for Aquarius. Predictions for Aquarius. Okay, two cards came out. I'll take those. You guys will receive um, some sort of money. Or you guys will see, um, I feel like there's going to be a, a, a major increase. You guys are going to receive some sort of sudden wealth here. However, whatever source it comes in. But you will see an increase in your finances in the next three months. Three months. For, those of, uh, for, for some of you, you could be dealing with two men here. One of the men that you're dealing with could be around your age. The other man is... Um, I'd say a lot like more financially stable than the person you're dealing with. And it's like, you don't know, you don't know, um, you don't know which way to go here. You don't know what the right, the right way to go with, with either or it's like, you're trying to really, it's like you don't visualize some sort of future with one or the other or possibly with both of them. It's like you don't know where things are headed with either or. So I'm going to start off with the career portion. For Aquarius Spirit. Predictions for career for Aquarius in the next three months, please. Predictions for Aquarius in the next three months regarding their career. Thank you. Career for Aquarius in the next three months. Predictions for Aquarius in their career in the next three months, please, and thank you. And another very quick message that I'm getting is that you guys could possibly be receiving some sort of money from somebody who is well off. That's like, I just had to put that out there. So three cards for career for Aquarius. Two more. Two more cards, please, Spirit. One more. Okay, I'll show you guys the cards here. Five of Cups, the Chariot, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like in the next three months, you guys, um, some of you could be regretting some sort of decision that you made in your job. You could be feeling like it's, it's unsuccessful, the route that you went here. And it's like you want, it's like you want to start building towards something here, whether it's something new or it's like you just want to put in the work. But it's like you guys are feeling, you guys are going to feel some sort of sense of disappointment uh, towards something that turned out unsuccessful for you. You're not seeing the success in whatever it is that you do. And I'm going to clarify the Eight of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Pentacles, Spirit? 
Yeah, clarify with the death card. Some of you could want to change your jobs. You're willing to put in the work towards something new here. Like you want to end things where you're at right now and you rather put in the work um, or others of you might want to put in the work, but you want to see some sort of change here. Let me clarify the death card. What's the death card spirit? Yeah, you, you, <clears throat> some of you might want to end things, uh, where, what, whatever it is that you have, uh, whatever job that you have, you might want to end things. Uh, because you want something that is going to give you a lot more money or you want something to be a lot more uh, stable for you. And you're willing to put in the work, but it's like you have, there's, there has to be some sort of change here, whether it's leaving what you do right now or changing your, um, like improving your work in general to give you more money. So let's move on to the love portion for those of you that are connecting with someone. For Aquariuses that are connecting with someone's spirit, what predictions do you have for Aquarius? For those of them that are connecting with someone, that are with someone or connecting with someone, please and thank you. Okay, let's get three cards, guys. Three cards for your love life. You got the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Wands all in reverse. I feel very strongly within the next three months, guys, you guys are going to let go of something here I feel like you guys if you're dealing with two people I feel like one of the people that you're dealing with you've um you've realized that this person is uh not who they say they are like they're very dishonest or they betrayed you in some way possibly in the past and it's like, you guys just want to let go of something. I'm going to clarify. And with the two of wands in reverse, the feeling that I'm getting off of this is that, again, you guys don't know what the right, you guys don't know what the right choice is moving forward, like in your future. You don't know um, where things are headed. It's like you want to make some sort of choice here to better yourself in your love life. But it's like you just, you're very confused as to which path to take here. So let's clarify the four of pentacles in reverse. Clarified with the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're letting go of some sort of friendship or you're just letting go of somebody who is who you who you just don't who just doesn't make you happy anymore. What's the seven of swords in reverse? Clarified by the queen of swords. If this person uh, was disloyal to you in any sort of way, whichever way they betrayed you in the past, whatever it could have been, I feel like moving forward, um, you're going to be very direct. Uh, you're not going to want to take any sort of shit from anyone moving forward. And... You just don't want to play any games. You don't want to waste your time here. It's like you know what you want moving forward. What's the two of wands in reverse, please? Clarified by the four of swords in reverse. Uh, yeah, again, it's like you're going to have some sort of wake-up call here. There's going to be some sort of awakening here as to what as to what you want in your future, as to how to get to what you want in the future. So closer to the three month mark, I feel like you guys are going to receive 
some sort of clarity here as to knowing what the best route is for you moving forward. So let's move to the singles portion now. For those of you that are completely single, let's see what's coming in for you guys. For my Aquariuses that are completely single, what's coming in for them in the next three months spirit? One more. So I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of uh, Swords. For those of you that are single, I feel like you guys are unwilling to uh, compromise with anyone. It's like you don't want to talk to anyone. You feel like, it could be like you feel that it's not worth your time in a sense here. Like you... It's something is becoming too much for you. If you guys have been talking here and there with people, I feel like you're not interested in whoever it is that you have been talking to. And it's like, it's starting to really weigh you down here. Not, not being able to compromise, not being able to talk to or get what you want in your love life it's starting to really weigh you down and be it's becoming a burden. Like you're becoming very stressed. You're going to feel in this very heavy sort of energy. And it's like you're, you're, you're going to become very confused as to um, possibly what you want moving forward in the next three months. I'm going to clarify for you singles, the Ten of Wands. What's the Ten of Wands? The five of pentacles. I feel like you guys, um, I feel like whoever it is that's been crossing your path here for you singles, whoever it is that you talk to here and there, it's like, you're just like rejecting everyone. You're going to be rejecting everyone. It's like, you're just so tired of it. You're so tired of Wasting your time, wasting your energy talking to the wrong people here. What's the two of swords, please? What's the two? Clarified by the six of swords in reverse here. I feel like you guys are going to feel very confused as to who it is that you want or what it is that you're truly looking for moving forward. And it's like you guys are just almost putting your love life on hold right now. It's like you don't, you're not seeing some sort of way to make yourself happy here. It's like you're, you're staying in some sort of energy that you're very closed off. You're very confused. It's like you're very guarded and you just... You feel like it's just too much for you. And you're not looking towards any sort of happiness here. It's like you're just closing yourself off to all these people. That's what I have for you guys. Hope it resonated. Feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys again.